Okay, now I've had a few minutes to play around with QPro, and I quite like it. It is, it looks a little bit more professional, a little bit more polished. Um, so let's go through a few things that you're going to see when you get to the home screen. So when you log into Q, you go to the home screen automatically. Whatever your favorite channels are will come up here at the top. So you can see that I've got AMC, um, Animal Planet, and a couple others, AMC Bravo, CMT, so on and so forth. Uh, it'll tell you what's on those specific channels as well when I have them highlighted. So right now I can see on AMC what's on. If I scroll over to Animal Planet, it'll show me what's on, and Bravo. So then it also shows you what's most current, new movies or sporting events that just posted. Um, and then down below are new TV shows. So that's really nice because um, it'll show the most current things that they've just added, which is really good. And then if you go back here, oops, no, nope, we don't want to go out of there. We'll go back up to the top and over to the right. Let's go over here. We'll get back up here to the top of the TV guide. We go over here to the TV guide. And what I really like about it is it starts with your favorites. And then if you want to go over to entertainment, you can. And once you hit entertainment, so as you can see on favorites, it automatically defaults to favorites, which is kind of nice. So uh, it's basically if you want to set up a customized list by using all your favorite channels, then it just narrows it down for you. Right now you can see I don't have very many, but um, if we wanted to see basically entertainment, then you go up here to the entertainment channels and it'll resort everything and you'll see the whole list of entertainment channels. And then you can go down through. And what I really like about it too is you can scroll over to see what's coming up. It's a lot more intuitive, I think, and easier to use than the previous one. Um, it separates out the news channels. Now before, if you remember on Q2, news channels, sporting channels, movies, all that stuff was on that left hand side, which is kind of hard to see and you'd have to open it up and go to the back button and do all that, just like we have to do over here. And we get up here and then drop that left hand menu out. You can still see it has live TV and movies and TV shows and all that, but you can still get to that also from the TV guide. which is really nice. And then again, if you go up here to the movie channels and resort them, it does take a second or two, but it's really nice because now you're not scrolling through where before Q2 had all channels, right? Had every single channel and you had to scroll through everything or just go through your favorites. Well, right now they make it so that the default is favorites so you could customize whatever programming you want. But if you want to go and find something else that you maybe don't have safe for favorites, you go to entertainment or news or kids and family or movies or whatever you want. And then all of those things are still there. You just keep scrolling to find all those different channels. And again, you could go down here and see what's coming up. I don't know how far it goes. Somebody said it doesn't go more than a, you know, a day or so. But I don't know how far my Cox does either because I don't really use it that way. But um, this is how you navigate through the TV guide. And if you guys have any questions, reach out to me on my YouTube channel. Send me messages. I reply to them as fast as I can. And anything that you guys need to know, um, I'll be updating as I discover more things with Q Pro 